Ok, one day later we have a job to finish. Uh, previously we stopped the work when we obtained the corners of those slabs, but I would like to insert the level mark just in the middle of those slabs at the top uh, surface. So we have to somehow calculate the, the midpoint. And of course it can be done with the, um, with the standard grasshopper tools like this polygon center. It is here. So I will provide the, the polyline. Uh, sorry, the polyline, not the points. Here it is. And now I obtained some points calculated with di different different ways. So those are the center points, the center points of the polygon. And I am interested in inserting the level mark at the top edge, at the top surface. So not in the middle, because it will be not very meaningful uh, at the construction site, but at the top. So I have to somehow get from those points uh, the top in this coordinate system, the top Y coordinate. In the global it would be the Z, but let's work in the work uh, coordination system on, on, with, uh, with the view. So I have to somehow sort those uh, Y coordinates and get the, the maximum of them. So let's just use the deconstruct of the points and now I have the uh, Y coordinates and what we can get, we can use the um, order component, it is somehow how it is named in Grasshopper, shift list, no, uh, sort, maybe sort, yeah, sort, this is the, the keyword. Okay, so now I obtained these uh, sort values, but of course those are sorted from the lowest to the highest, we want to insert the level mark at the top, so we have to reverse this list. And here it is, now we obtain those points in the reversed uh, fashion. So we are interested only at the first point, so let's get the list item with the indices index 0, and now I get those points. So we have the 5 control slabs, control plates, we have the 5 top Y coordinates and they are now in the tree, let's just flatten it to the list, it will be a little easier. Also here we obtain the center and we have to, com to combine the X coordinate from the center and the Y coordinate from the, um, from the highest uh, face. So let's uh, now use the, yeah, we have to deconstruct, let's unbox and box one once more. So I will deconstruct those centers just to get the X point and to get the proper, uh, the, same, the same fashion, the same data types. I will use the flattening and now it's time to construct the new point. Uh, here it is and we, we will obtain the X from here and Y from that. Z is zero, we are working on the, on the, on the planner view. And here are the points. You, you could ask why uh, we obtain those points. Because now we want to insert the level mark. And the level mark is placed yeah, somewhere here. So to insert the level mark, we need the view. Okay, we knew this view. Also the insertion point, the base point, and eventually some extra attributes. So let's just insert it here. It will be a little quicker. And now connect the view. Okay, great. So now I have the the points, the base points, so the points where the level mark will be uh, anchored. So I will yeah, wire it like that and set it as a base point. And now I have to answer the question where should be the insertion point, so the, the starting of this horizontal uh, line of this level mark, so I will make some addition. Uh, I don't know how it will work in, on that scale, so let's use some slider. Uh, sorry. Okay, something like that. Maybe maybe it will be too. Not, no, not enough. Let's see. Uh, I will construct the point. I just I just want to get the the offset, and connect the x, the y, and now I will use some just addition. So here is my offset. Here are my points and what is more I will need this result here. Okay, so what happened? 
the insertion, the level marks were inserted, but obviously they are too low. So yeah, I will have to uh, edit those values. Yeah, maybe let's be a little more uh, clear. Let's get it like that, okay. And here it is also too small. So let's offset it a little more. Okay, so here it is, of course. The proper syntax for the slider would be would be better, and what I wanted to show you that you can uh, create, you can grab the coordination system of some model views, you can based on them create some uh, GA uh, views and annotate them, and of course when you will have the whole view with a lot of different objects, you have to somehow know what exactly you would like to know and you should group those objects and tackle them by uh, by one and now just maybe some 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 scaling let's go a little lower and now it is and after a few the level marks will be placed okay they are they are here so we can see what was the longest part of those scripts i think that getting those objects from the view are the most time consuming and yeah, for today, that's all. Thank you. See you next time.